Oh. Oh, that's the wrong note. Oh. We're missing one. Oh no, we're missing several. Oh, this is this is the uh uh what's it called? The uh Attack on Titan car. The horrifying, horrifying Attack on Titan car. So what's the difference between these two cars? Besides the license plate. Oh, oh, the back of the car is different. Ugh, okay, there we go. That should have been obvious. God, no, we're missing a lot. I, I mean, clearly I need to make this stream just run around and collect cars stream. I don't think the colors count, though. Yeah, if you get one, you get all the colors. Okay. God, there's a lot of cars in this game, and I don't have many of them. That color thing wasn't always true. Yeah, I remember stopping random cars to get all the colors too. I also remember that. I remember not always getting all the colors immediately, but I think they changed it for this one. Which, <clears throat> considering there's so many, makes sense, but... Gotta be one of these places. Clean your face, the Kelso. It's a bug sprayer. It must have worked at one of these joints. Now we're gonna stop this car. Maybe I don't Control have it. Control your car. No. What's no. your problem? 
Stop. I want this car. I don't know if I have it yet. Watch it. Stop. Stop driving. Get off the road. Get off the road. I'm in a rush. Am I just going to take this woman with me? Is this woman just coming along with the, with me for the ride now? Alright, Betsy, we're going to go solve some crimes. I think I'm really doing Betsy a favor. I think she didn't actually want to be in the car with Lauren. Lauren's a little piece of shit. Has to listen to her complaining all day about work. But Betsy and I understand each other. We, we know that the fewer words, uh, fewer words exchanged is just a, a, a more secure relationship. Oh, she's there! Betsy just got out of the car! And she, she's running! Betsy, come back! Grown men playing. Where did Betsy go? I saw her get out of the car and run! Did our relationship mean nothing to you? I think she's gone. I think she poofed out of existence. I am impressed that she continued to exist in the cutscene of us pulling in, though. I kind of assumed she would just, like, disappear as soon as we get to a cutscene. How many guys you have working here, Pop? Who's asking, son? It could be official or unofficial. Depends on how you want to play it. You should get to a hospital, son. That arm of yours appears to be letting in daylight. Save the pity for the other guys. They're the ones who need it. I'm looking for a big cowboy who works pest control. Does he work here? We don't have anyone like that here. You sure? I'm not the type of guy you want coming back. Yeah, I'm sure. If I leave your bathroom smelling like shit, then you'll regret me coming back. Hey, Cole's in this what one. What you got? Looks like a drug overdose. Get away from him, Phelps. This is my case. Shut your fucking mouth. Since when does a bag man work a case? I knew this creep wasn't on the morphine heist. Victim of his own product. Hey, detective! Can we back it off a notch? This is getting out of hand. It's time to talk and time Actually, to Actually, you know up. what I think I would have liked be better quiet, than the way they Courtney did these newspaper Sheldon things? was a corpsman, Roy. He served his so, country. He went throughout out with the a game, kit and an army people talk to you about how like you're in newspaper, uh, you know, how enough, you're like getting coverage get and they recognize your face. Fund, but this is the only one that you see in there. I think it would have been fun instead of having the... The newspapers be the side story that eventually connects, but not smoothly. Jugular, I think it'd be fun case. for the newspapers to be the cases, you uh, cases that you the cases that you actually saw. Sorry, I'm trying to you talk over Cole Phelps, partner. who is fucking just screaming his head off while I try to ramble about something not important. But I think it'd be fun if the newspapers were the cases that you've solved, but they're like skewed, like they're so so it's it's the. It's like the inaccurate version of the story that Stay the newspapers the managed to piece together. Sure uh, so then you can kind of see the how you your character acts differently. Here. And it can be like kind of comedic. Yes, sir. Um, but, but also I just feel like it'd be interesting. You no, know, Phelps, you're not the worst asshole going down. Thanks, Herschel. Uh, and then, and then I, would, I wouldn't be like, what are you talking about? Why is everyone talking about how I'm in all the newspapers? I'm in no newspapers. I already answered your question, son. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Lay that pistol down. Oh no, never mind, the second verse is going to be different. 
That's fine. Lay that pistol down. Pistol packing mama. Lay that pistol down. Okay, so I'm missing a lot of... Please, damn it! Oh, is that a sports car? We're missing a lot of sports cars. I need this. Police emergency. Life, nope, we already we, we we already had it. You can get back in your car now, sir. Gotta borrow this. Sorry. I find Gotta one borrow this for day. one second. I'm just gonna sit in your car and then get out of it. Okay. Thank you. I already had it. Don't honk at me. I'm gonna take this car. Why are you running over there? No, I wanted that car! God damn it. Lay that pistol down. This is the real police corruption, yeah. <laughs> They block intersections to just sit in people's cars. Bugs be gone. Kurt Bugsby. Welcome to Nuclear. What can I do you for? I work for the DA. I need to speak with an exterminator, big guy with a cowboy accent. We have only three people work here, me and two Mexicans. They're both on the scrawny side. Thanks for your help. Wait, that's it? We're just gonna walk? That was the end of that interaction? <laughs> just... I kind of thought I'd be doing more investigating other than just like... Hey, is this guy working here? No? Okay, I'll just take it you for your word. Lay that pistol down. Lay that pistol down. Pistol packing mama. Lay that pistol down. Problem is, it's hard to tell which cars I don't know. Do I have this car? Can't nope. you see what's happening? No, where do you think you're going, Buster? Where do you think you're going? Out! Right now! Be careful with it, copper! Hey, 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 you- who said you could leave? Out of my way! You no, don't, me. don't, don't move, don't move! Do not move! Did you just hit me with your car? Are you running me over? Did you that civilian murdered me? That that civilian intentionally murdered me. He backed up into me. I keeled over and then he paused and then backed up again. Do we remember what that car looks like? I need to- I, I need to find that car and murder him. Hey! I'll be needing this. Not in your life, Buster! God damn it, we have this car too. We have this car? You gotta get out! I find one goddamn ding! God damn it!
California drivers. Yeah, California drivers. I say as I drive. doesn't count as being close enough to the destination. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Do I have that truck? Do I have that truck? Come back, come back. No, I shouldn't have gotten out of the car. No! I don't know if I have that truck. Ah! Come on, stay a red light. For a little... Are you running a red truck right on this light? God damn it. Are you drunk, mister? No, I'm not. Okay, we're gonna grab that car, and we're gonna chase after that truck. <gasps> I don't have this car! Okay, it was worth it. Do we have that blue car on the left? I don't recognize that blue car. I've got a job to do. <laughs> no! No! God damn it! Hurry Gotta up! Gotta borrow this! Sorry! Get out of the, the goddamn car! I'm shoot you! Uh, oh no, you got caught off. Ah, oh, goddammit. Yeah, I don't know, my, my headset's been... I mean, I guess it's always sort of done this, but I feel like it's been cutting out more than normal recently. God damn it! I'm, I'm never driving. gonna catch up with that truck! He's like... I give up, I'm not gonna catch that house, but, I'll, that truck, but at least I can get this truck. No! No! What the fuck?! That man was keeled over, he was gonna die! I just feel like I don't have all the trucks! Okay. Find another ride. Be careful with it, copper. I already had this one. Killed nobody but her husband? I mean, I guess if it's only the husband, that's fine. For the DA, I'm looking for a big cowboy. Does extermination? Is he, Anyone like is he that working here? His arm because well, I've crashed into too many people. I wouldn't want to get anyone into any trouble. This guy we could do this the though. hard way. An address? Yeah. He lives in a bunkhouse on the remains of the old Rancho Rincon. Thanks. It's kind of cute. Cole, you made it. What's this got to do with me, Rusty? Dr. Fontaine, prominent Rusty. shrink. Dead in his patient's room. Spine snapped like a twig. The suspect is one of his mental patients. I've met Fontaine. His last patient was Elsa Lickman, Cole. She's missing. <laughs> Nurse said that she saw some big Boris Karloff type carry her out of here. The best thing that you can do to help me, Rusty, is let me take a look around. Sure thing, Cole. This way.
Twitter would have more emotional uh, impact and new cold life and this do we know if we know the patient that murdered the doctor? Like I don't know if we've ever met the patient. That was the patient. I don't think this is going to help oh, no. us. Oh, Robo Jamin. La uh, uh. la 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 la. Whoop 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 whoop. Robo whoops. Better. Okay. Optimistic Cole. Hi Matthew. Matthew is doxing me for my. Four people. Oh god, what was that? What was Cole doing? How come I can't get... Let me... Looks like Fontaine has finally dispensed his last treatment. That sounds like that was supposed to be like a punchline to a game. Oh my Cole! Cole, what is happening? Are you going to do that every time I open the cabinet? No, it just... Oh my god! <laughs> Did they not... They didn't... They didn't... No one checked this cabinet? No one checked this cabinet to make sure that it was working properly. <laughs> Like he's on a pull string. Like he's doing a stunt or something. He, he slides so far and got so far. Take your time. I'll give whoop, you and the whoop. doctor some privacy. Whoop, 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 whoop. Leland, listed below are the properties you wanted, accounted for. They associate the associate. They associate. They associate the so why is there a why the associate has visited each and made a thorough survey and from what he tells me I gather these families and residents no longer require the assistance provided by our relocation program. <laughs> kind regards, Doctor Harlan J. Fontaine. It says my associate? It says my associate? I can't even go back. I can't even go back and look happened. at it. People started dying and it attracted attention. He and the doctor lost control. Liability? Speak to Curtis. Harden, this was not our arrangement. Your associate is overstepping his, is overstepping his mark. Get him under control or I will take whatever action is necessary. God, who is, who is, who, who wrote this one? Har Harlan, okay. Date, August 15th, 1947. Status of subject, treatment and observation ongoing. Personal history. The subject was born into an oak. This, 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 this was not his voice originally. The, so, the, the subject was born into an Oklahoman sharecrop farming family, failed harvest during the dust bowls of the 1930s, led to the family being evicted, and they undertook the journey west to California. The subject's mother and younger brother both died of starvation while on the road. The subject's father found work as a stuntman in a low-budget cowboy films, in low-budget cowboy films. The subject was urged to pursue the same career, but a naturally reserved disposition and physical awkwardness made this difficult, yes. 
The subject trained as a gas fitter and showed some mechanical aptitude, but was drafted into the Marines at the outbreak of the war. He served as a... until an incident... The subject's father died in November 1945. The subject returned from service to live alone on the property father and son once shared. Nature of Disorder When referred to this physician, the subject was suffering from an acute case of bachelor fatigue manifested in sensory flashbacks, disturbed attention, and sleep disturbance. But then I X'd out the sleep disturbance. Fuck the sleep disturbance. It doesn't exist anymore. The subject describes symptoms such as vision impairment, headache, I lost my place, headache, tachypnoa, tachycardia, and excessive sweating. The subject experienced phantom physical sensations when in a wakeful state and intense nightmares when sleeping. The subject was unable to dissociate memory from reality, frequently regressing to the trauma of During early diagnostic sessions, the subject admitted to flee, feeling, feeling a morbid fear of and deep fascination with fire. Conclusions. A determination was made that the subject had entered an advanced state of catatonia, which could not be overcome by psychotherapy alone. Treatment history. The subject began... Why are we getting all of the exposition for this character in a letter? The subject began a course of drug treatment in conjunction with clinical hypo... Hip God, the on-air button is covering it. Stop typing. Hypnotherapy sessions. Sessions were initially scheduled once every two weeks. Morphine tartrate in doses was administered to counteract symptoms of anxiety, while hypnotic induction and verbal suggestion techniques were applied. Uh, treatment was initially ineffective. The subject reported no change in the frequency or severity of flashback episodes and headaches. Additional sessions were scheduled in two-hour blocks to allow deeper sedation, morphine, tartrate, in doses, and increased responsiveness. There's so much fucking more. The subject began to experience diminished physical symptoms and became highly susceptible to suggestion and ideation. As a result, the subject had kept at this physician's clinic more frequently in order to prevent him harming himself or others. Uh, additional medication was prescribed, sessions were scheduled once every three to four days, catharsis exercises were undertaken where the subject's blanket a controlled environment, the subject reported conflicts between feelings of hopelessness and feelings of serenity brought on by volunteer work undertaken on this physician's behalf. Prognosis! The subject is fighting persistent delusions and paranoid schizoid tendencies and managed managing with the help of drug treatment and therapy to keep them at bay. However, it is the opinion of this physician that any relaxation of these treatments would be dangerous. The subject could, without continued guidance, slip back into the clutches of his many demons and enter a new, antisocial state of psychopathy. Signed, Dr. Harlan J. Fontaine. Um, a snobby homer. Okay, that was, that was somewhat close. Uh, I'm confused. Is this Cole or something, or just someone who we manipulated? I think this is the guy that killed... Fontaine and maybe set the fires but we don't know this guy <laughs> like we don't we don't know this guy at all but I think he's the final villain oh actually wait no we, we we can we can read it now you're right Amanda it says my associate I read the I read the left thing as a T like they associate that makes sense So much for your foresight, Doctor. It's kind of rude. He's dead. Why doesn't Cole Phelps wear gloves when he touches dead bodies? Destroyed by a monster of your own creation, Dr. Fontaine. I've heard that story somewhere before. Cole could get away with killing so many people because his fingerprints are on every corpse in Los Angeles. And they could just say he was investigating it.
IH, Interdisciplinary Humanities. Ooh, hold on, there's a newspaper. Let's see how irrelevant this is. That goddamn pet lunatic of yours is burning down our houses. Keep your voice down, Leland. Control is of the essence. Keep your voice down. You know how much these sons of bitches charge for lunch? Fuck them. Leland, we will not solve our problems by announcing them to the general public. We only speed ourselves on our way to the gallows. He's your imbecile, Harlan. Get him under control or get rid of him. Speaking of which, I've had to dispose of our young medical student. What? You certainly are a cold character, Harlan. He has a friend called Kelso who knows all about the development on Normandy Avenue. I know about Kelso. And you thought it unimportant to inform me. I thought I could take care of it. Have you? No, I haven't. Kelso works for Benson. Is he reliable? No, he's totally unreliable. But he has so many pernicious habits, he's got nowhere to run. Can you take care of Kelso? Don't push me, Harlan. Get rid of the fruitcake. No longer necessary. I'll take care of Jack Kelso. Okay, and but this scene has nothing to do with this newspaper article. This framing device does not work if we're supposed to believe, and it says so explicitly, click X to see the story behind this, this article. But that had nothing to do with this article. This article was not about the shady dealings of Leland Monroe and the Fontaine guy. Like, that, that's a separate story that's only related because we know Monroe's involved in this, but that's not what the newspaper is saying. Oh, we collected all the newspapers. That's surprising. This map. Welcome to my ASMR uh, stream. Chalk ASMR. Just... You gotta really dig in deep sometimes. Edgewood Grove, McCarthy Vista, Crescent Heights, Rancho Escondido. Do those names mean anything to you, Herschel? Yeah. How come? That that was your contribution? Is yeah, how come? Thanks. New houses all being built in the path of the freeway? That's outside. Oh, that's outside. Is that it? We can't go upstairs. We can't examine these documents. Hmm. 
That's outside. Oh, there was something here. It's this again? Were we not done with this? Fontaine was having the houses burned from Monroe. Did I miss something? can't tap anything on this letter so it must be something on the second page did I not tap everything already I swear it's gonna be like one tiny little pixel that you have to touch with this unwieldy fit hand control wrong it's not about insurance it's about eminent domain so what i just needed to tap everything and then he would suddenly the decide claims the land in the path of the freeway and pays the improved value of the land with the new houses sitting on it. what about the stiffs who paid their deposits worst case they get their money back but the syndicate pockets millions on the improved value of the land so where does jack's boss come into it he's the key he carries the insurance the insurance proves how much the houses are worth and they're worth nothing firewood all of them. that's about as neat a scam as you can imagine how are we going to prove any of this, Cole? The doctor's dead. The roll nearly bled to death. If they get Jack... We need the firebug. The Oki cowboy. Get him, get Elsa. Get him, get all of them. I feel like him cheating on his wife with Elsa doesn't add anything to the plot. Or even like any character development. And I guess I feel like it very easily could. I'm, I'm a broken record now. We needed to know a lot more about Elsa and we needed to know anything about his wife and kids. Or for any of the really inform. Guess nobody's home. I like how he knocked and waited approximately a second and a half before he just assumed no one was home. Oh no, my headset's cutting in and out again. I feel like I'm gonna get jump scared. Did you all see that there's a fake Five Nights at Freddy's movie with Nick Cage? It's not Five Nights at Freddy's, but it is essentially Five Nights at Freddy's. It's uh, Nick Nicholas Cage goes to work at a, a Chuck E. Cheese-like establishment where there is evil animatronics. Like, I mean, maybe maybe that was a joke, but I definitely watched a trailer. So either they put a lot of effort into that trailer and it's a joke, or <laughs> or or it's an actual movie. It's the origami killer! Or origami killer!
What I've learned from Heavy Rain and L.A. Noir is white people shouldn't do origami, apparently. They're, they're just 100%. 100% of white people who do origami are murderers. We want to buy your old home today. Quite a flock you got here, kid. The river tunnels. This guy's oh, okay. a tunnel this rat. Is this is how we end up in the random sewers, and then Cole Phelps dies, and then suddenly the end of the game is here. <laughs> I took an origami class for two Strange whole classes. Obsession. Okay, uh, everyone stay away from Matthew. Uh, he will murder you, but he'll only murder two people instead of just like an endless number of people. know those faces it's a good thing that we don't Jesus know Christ, these faces know every though, one of them because we only know kelso uh, and cole phelps and we don't even know kelso that well and for that matter we don't even know cole phelps that well so it's a good thing that photograph has very little emotional significance i'm honestly surprised they didn't like you know what i'm surprised I mean, I guess it may, may not have fit in with the, like, the noir theme. I'm surprised that we didn't have a mission where we were in Okinawa as, as Cole. And, and just, like, it doesn't have to be, like, a full-length mission or anything. But, like, you, I'm sure, it, like, something can happen and you can interrogate the people that you're with or something. Just something to give us any sort of time with them so that we know who they are and we care about them. I don't know. I mean, we could just take those cutscenes where he's an asshole to Kelso and just somehow make it playable. Can you tell Hannah that you're a murderer, please, so she knows not to get murdered? Yeah, we should- someone- someone call Hannah and- and let her know that she should probably- probably get out of the house. I want- I want a level where you're Cole Phelps and you just have to, like, interrogate your- your family. <laughs> Trying to figure out, like, which kid drew on the wall and have to interview everyone. been here, haven't we? Oh. What is this? It's an amiibo. So we know this guy's a nerd. The uh, prequel to Kill the Kill. Most guys bring home a forty five or an M one. This is pretty extreme. Oh, my God, Ira, you poor backward son of a bitch. Hey, that's the that's the the little horse saddle that um 
Cole Peterson and, and uh, Stefan had I've sex got with. Monroe, Fontaine, and all the others. It's all tied up nicely. It goes all the way to the top. Meet me at the LA River Tunnel entrance just north of the First Street Bridge in half an hour. Don't ask questions. Just be there. I like how the phone landscape is just so different this is DA's than it is now. Jack Kelso. Where my first thought is like, oh no, they're gonna, Detective like Cole he's Phelps. gonna know that you used his phone. I'm like, actually no, he's not gonna know that you used his phone. I'm just so used to phone records. <laughs> All right, let's go to the go sewers ahead, and KGPL. die. 11K, see the man. A 207 just occurred on the spillway north of the First Street Bridge. DA's investigator Jack Kelso reports a kidnapping suspect outstanding in the LA River Tunnel system with a hostage. 11K, and I'll go that. three. What the hell is Jack playing at? Like a suicide note. Half the LAPD will be down there hunting for us. We need to get there first. All units on all frequencies stand by. Car 86 Adam is in pursuit of suspect vehicle heading southwest on Sunset Boulevard. Suspect vehicle belonging to Jack Kelso. Described as a Navy Chevrolet fleet line. License number 4, William 0286. Car 86 Adam is in pursuit. I picked up his car. Could we, like, Holy drive? Hell, to the river. While that's hap while this announcement is happening, instead of just sitting here, this is uh, an uh, an unrealistic Cole Phelps driving in a cutscene uh, image. He should be killing people. That's Kelso's car. Look at that nice turn. You know, it just looks like I'm helping. <laughs> Jesus Christ! It just looks like I'm also a cop. Okay, that police officer is dead now. I just shredded his car. <laughs> Like, Kelso is just gonna think I'm a... How? Is that police? That, that car is just... That car is just, like, disintegrated. Like Matthew in Heroes of the Storm. Okay, all of these cars are just shredding all of the individual parts of their car. I think you need to get your car checked out, dude, before you chase people. Maybe you should close the hood first. When did they make all the police cars out of paper? They were fine before this mission. Actually, maybe I should turn off my... my siren. It'll make us harder to find. Peterson, assistant DA. What's he doing? He's here here? to cover our backs. Who's Peterson? Hold in there, Jack. No one's trying to stop you. I found this at the ranch house. He's marked his routes. I'll go in here. Why Hold do we care about this man? I need you to take the car and cover the spot here. I think that's he just suddenly tangentially connected to a doctor who is tangentially connected to another got character it, that it. we care about. Peterson, you want to be DA? We'll earn your salt. Peterson, since when did you want to be DA? So, Who so are support, you? Peterson. Why is everyone you just pretending that we know him? The handy lad, that Kelso. Yes, he is, Chief. You can't imagine what those two have uncovered. Yeah, you go, it Peterson. Go this is a culmination of a long story arc. I hope you won't be implicated. 
So Finally, you have learned to stand Peterson? up for yourself, Peterson. Looks like it. And you think he'll make it out of there alive? I think he might. You know, just the, the growth that boy, we've seen from Peterson, right, Peterson over the last 20 seconds of knowing him I'm has just been so emotionally impacting. That's I remember enough. the first time we met him and Cole turned around and said, this is Peterson. And I was just like, well, I don't know if I'm going to like him that much. And then he just manages to stand up for his friends like that. It's just, it, it really just warms my heart. Watch there multiple people. I thought we were after one person. I'm gonna like look him up on the wiki and find out that Peterson has existed this entire game and I just I just do not pay attention. Okay, we're gonna take it real easy because apparently I can't take too many bullets. Oh wait, I'm Kelso? Cole, is, Cole dies, not Kelso. Does Kelso also die? I don't know, my audio's cutting in and out. Pearson shows up in the second of three cases for your Kelso in the open. Oh, okay. Okay, so Peterson is the guy that Kelso talks to in the hospital. That is not, that, that is not enough time. Peterson, that is not enough time. We meet so many random people. You got to do something more than just show up in a cutscene. Let me pick up the weapon. He's there, right there. Oh god, I was trying to pick up the weapon! Like... I think the way that they introduced him is fine, but we should collaborate with him when we're Kelso. Just missed. Oh god. Are you okay? Normally they die instantly. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, but yeah, like, in the levels where we play as Kelso then, since we know that we're working with him, we should just... We should just collaborate with, uh, with Peterson. We should talk to him. He should have dialogue. to the left that you would have had me, boys. Strongest part of is I'm cutting in and out probably. The strongest part of the game is the is the interrogations, and it's weird that in the final case 
the culminating moment is not an inter a series of interrogations. Because I am very bad at shooters, but I don't think anyone loved the shooting in L.A. Noir. Like, like, even people are good at shoot at shooting games. At stand for L.A. Noir. Surprised that that's what they decided to end on. I'm coming out. Oh no. Okay. I'll say I'll say it again. Hopefully it'll 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 come through. Um. Part of the game of allegations. I'm surprised that they didn't. The entire last level. Um, and I don't think that. I don't think that. Like, I'm not good at. It. It's cutting out again. No. <laughs> How long do you think you can hold out? I give up. But only when you're saying the meat. Okay, I'm just gonna talk really fast. Best part of the game, interrogation. Why final level, no interrogation? Why shooting? No one likes the shooting. Even people who are good at shooting. God, there's Winnebago's. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Want me? Could you not? Kelso, could you not? There's like no cover there. Come on, someone come over here. Throw out the gun! He's around here somewhere. You can't hear that everyone's shooting at me. Christ. That was close. No one's behind me, right? Just making sure I can't ever tell where they're actually shooting from. Why do I hear you're someone on my left? You're surrounded your buddies are dead! He's around here somewhere. Who is talking? Why are they behind me, but not shooting me? No, he's there, right there. Kill him. You can walk out of here or go out in a box. Your choice. There. Light him up. See, I think... Is this a glitch? It's like someone, there's an enemy Almost that... Almost out! Need a new weapon! There's an enemy that sees me... As as he pokes his head out, step on it. But... I don't actually know where they are, and I don't know if they actually How see long me. do you think you oh can god, hold out? Oh god, there they are. Oh, they were below me, that makes sense. That's it. Out of ammo. So these people were just standing below me, going, As soon as he pokes his head out... <laughs> this is what I'm good at. You're that good at it, Kelso. You, you take a lot of bullets. It's sad how much I love the games. No, honestly, I think Until Dawn is my favorite narrative-based. 
um, game. I, I, I loved The Wolf Among Us, and I loved uh, uh, first season of Walking Dead and uh, Borderlands, but I think Until Dawn is, is still unmatched for me. I, I, I still think it's so good. Nothing that has been since then. I like the other two games, but they've, they've both not been as good as Until Dawn. Really, why was this the culmination of Elf? The more I think about it, it makes sense. The water's rising. Honestly, I feel like a gun would be. Why am I stuck here? Why can I not move? Uh, Kelso, do you want to move? Kelso, what's your problem? Come on, Kelso. Honestly, we should have just fucking used the gun! The gun has farther reach than this flamethrower! Why does he have to use the flamethrower? I can't even see where I'm going! What is wrong with you? Kelso! Kelso, stop doing that! Why is this how the game ends? <laughs> Why is this the final confrontation? There is no interrogation in the- Oh my god, we have to- Oh, I hate everything. I, I do remember having to do that that part by a couple of times and not understanding exactly where they wanted me to go. It is just, it is baffling to me that the entire final lesson, that the entire final mission, there's no interrogation. You don't even interrogate the people to find out where to, where to get to the sewer. Oh, we got a, um, achievement for being bad at shooting, probably. Like, and why do we need to set him on fire? I mean, I get it's supposed to be, like, maybe karmic, but we don't know this guy at all. And a gun would just be so much more useful. The water's rising. You could walk out of here or go out in a box. Your choice. You're fucking toast. Christ, just missed. Eyes open. He's around here somewhere. Uh, I think I'm right in front of you. I I, I don't think you need. <laughs> How do you not see me? How come I'm not able to shoot you? Let me shoot you! You want me? You got me. Get your bullet, you son of a bitch! Let me, let me shoot. I am holding the trigger. I, I'm trying to go into cover and it still will not let me. Do I need to get, go up? I probably need to go up. There. Somebody tag that son of a bitch! Come on! I also like how, I, I'm, I'm guessing this guy who's threatening us is the final guy, but he's making the same threats as like the normal goons do. Wait, how did I die?
I didn't even get shot. I was walking towards the ladder. Also, how is it a different kind of war if it's exactly like a typical war where you're, you're just a shootout? That's not a different kind of war. That's just war. It'd be a different kind of war if you needed to, like, interrogate your way out or something. How long do you think you can hold out? You're surrounded and your buddies are dead! Succumb to water? Yeah, maybe. I feel like we were still solidly, like, waist deep. Like, we would have been fine. Keep on going, Jack. Why are we Kelso? Why are we not Cole? Pick up the damn flamethrower. I, I really do love this game, but man, this game should have been like 15, 20 hours shorter. The water's rising. Like the, the tunnels level should have been the finale. From like that, that the first or second desk. Okay. God damn! We're just gonna book it to that ladder. Because, you know, we just have no better idea than to slowly walk across an open field where you can easily get shot at because you have to use this flamethrower. You can walk out of here or go out in a box. Your choice. Honestly, yeah, a gun would be easier. Is that man not wearing pants? Throw out the gun! This isn't good. It's, I feel like, would the flamethrower also be bad since they have a bunch of gunpowder in their gun? Like, with that? I don't know for sure what would happen, I just feel like it might not be good. We had to get so close just to shoot people with this flamethrower because you just had to use the flamethrower. Let's just wait for this guy to turn the corner. You want me? You got me. Rip. Oh, don't worry, the fire went out. He's fine. Oh, look at that. Oops. Christ. Oh, a booty. Just missed. Also, what's happening with his upper body? Oh god, oh no! We can't walk across that. If only we had a gun. Who's ready to repeat the section again? The Don't say that to me, Matthew. No. That's not what's gonna happen. This is- why is this not cover? Why- why can I not cover here? Oh god, that-, that there's a hole there too. Oh no, this is not gonna go well. Okay, that was that was way too close. That was not good. He doesn't have a booty. Okay, now what? Now what? 
What do you want me to do? Did the guy hire goons? It got these You get rid of the flamethrower. Are you okay, princess? I felt better. He saved me from the doctor. Cutting out, I oh text. no. You remember me? I'm not sure that I do. Have don't worry, I don't remember her? you either. Why would I do that, Who the soldier? fuck are you? Isn't that why you're all here? I'm here to get her out. But not me. You haven't come for me. I no, literally you. don't know who you are, so I, I couldn't it have come here. for you even if I wanted to. You were with the sixth on Sugarloaf, weren't you? You know, I actually I was, don't know if I was on the, the sixth with Sugarloaf. Because we don't yes, we don't I really was. spend that much time in the dark story. You're Sergeant Jack Kelso, aren't you? Where's your uniform, Sarge? At home in my locker, Hogaboom! War's over, soldier! I know that, Sarge. I'm fighting a different kind of war. I fight for God now. We all fight for God, Ira. In our own ways, not everyone knows it. Elsa, are you all right? Get away from her! It's all right, Cole. He doesn't want to hurt her. Ira was with us on Okinawa. What? You know this guy? Don't you remember me, Lieutenant? No, I, I don't remember you. you. No. I literally no. don't. You ordered me to burn that cave, Lieutenant. That cave okay, full of okay, I do remember burning the cave with civilians, but what like maybe we about? should have played that level. It was war. For God's sake, I can't be held responsible for everything that happened. I don't blame you, Lieutenant. You helped me to help other people. Ira lost his mind on Okinawa, Princess. Sheldon asked the doctor to help him get back. The doctor helped me to find my path. And I helped him to a better life. Elsa's going to leave now, Ira. She will be all right. You've helped her, too. Get her out of here. Vix will help. His exit is nearby. Jack, I need this guy to make the case. Haven't this poor bastard given you enough? Let's Get scream about now. this man who has Not a flamethrower right what next to him. To do? Don't cry, miss. Sergeant Kelso has come to help ease my way. I was proud to serve with you, Jack. Who are you? Yeah, you're cool. Are you okay? Why are you walking like that? Okay, so on the second playthrough, I was thinking like, oh, okay, Lieutenant? they do Regina's more stuff the than I remember. But I this finale is still you bullshit. Me that, you fucking maniac! They're burned to a crisp. Finish them off. Do it humanely. We are leaving this place. You do it, belts. Get your own fucking hands dirty. I'm on a morphine. Ah! Ah! Put these people out of their pain. Now, that's an order. You know, it'd be great if we saw this before the finale. Like, we should have seen this before the finale. We should have played this before the finale. Everyone out of here now. Double time! You two get Lieutenant Belt to an aid station. Weapon so that when the finale comes, we recognize the guy and we're like, Everything oh no. Everything that happened in here stays in here. Do you hear me? I don't want to ever hear another word about it. So we shot Phelps? I, I, it might have been Kelso? I mean, who knows? It was probably Jacob. You know, Marcus Jacob. That, that old guy that we love that hangs around sometimes and now he's an accountant. Let me help. What are you waiting for? This is a big moment of redemption for me for some reason. <laughs> what? What is this fucking... He just... He just... He just, he just whispers... Good, goodbye. <laughs> we get swept away. What is... Ha this ending still does not make sense. This ending still... They did not improve it. 
they added VR cases and they didn't like add an additional couple of scenes. Phelps in that moment is me leaving a meeting. <laughs> Goodbye. And he just gets swept away as fast as possible. And, and you're right, I didn't even notice, but we spend the, like almost all of the entire level, if not the entire last level, just playing as Kelso. Why? Why are we not Cole? Who, are, who, which, who, which partner is that? Is that Herschel? Is that Rudy? Is it just another dude? We're gathered here to honor Detective Cole Phelps. Cole Phelps was the best kind of man. Hear, hear. A war hero. Who are you? <laughs> who led his men with true valor. Who said hear, hear? And through his personal bravery, achieved one of his country's highest honors. A cop wrongly accused who never lost his that faith in the LAPD was, and the was. system. Son, you belittle his memory. Elsa. Get out of my way, Jack. You call yourself his friend. A detective who fought to expose the evil corruption of the murderous Dr. Fontaine and the rapacious property tycoon Leyland Monroe. Go to her. Will you, Herschel? A reformer. Okay, that, well, that is Herschel. Who we'll never his friend, the need Jack. To the Where's Stefan? Oh, is that, that's Stefan in the back with the red hat. Men. Herschel? A man who never gave up. Yeah, Jack. Who continued I was never to his enemy. The good fight. I think he knew that. Has Kelso not cleaned his face the in the months or in the weeks, I'm assuming, between when Cole died and his funeral? He still a has blood husband. on his face. This is my a funeral. How disrespectful. And may I say, a good friend. No, it, it's Roy talking at the pulpit. Oh, which is why Elsa was so mad. But yeah, it's so weird that, like, Stefan gets nothing. Herschel is the least... Herschel, Herschel is, is the least... Um... Herschel is not an interesting character! Out of, all of, out of all of the partners you get, Stefan gets the most interesting stuff, and, and Rusty is pretty good too. Herschel? Who the fuck is Herschel? Who knows? Half of, half of Herschel's partnership you're playing as Kelso. So why does Herschel get the final, like, Herschel, you have to go to him? You have to go to her? Yeah, where's Rusty Galloway? Okay, so literally throughout this playthrough, I, I was actually, like, going back on my initial uh, word of this and saying, like, no, I think they did lay out more stuff and more uh, backstory ahead of time than I remember, so I must just not have remembered it or not have paid attention. This ending is still 100% bullshit. This ending still comes out of nowhere, is not a good finishing arc for literally any of the characters. It just... And, and mechanically, too. Like, I've said this a million times, I know, but, like, mechanically, this is not the finale you want for a game that was marketed as... Like, watch their faces and decide who is telling the truth and lying. The shooting mechanics in this game aren't good. And you can tell that they're not good because they have auto-aim, which I appreciate because I am terrible at shooters. But, like, for anyone that actually likes shooters, the auto-aim is going to take all of the fun out of this, the shooting. And you're going to end with a shooting sequence? Especially with a flamethrower sequence where the range is, like, two, two steps in front of you? They were all at the funeral? Okay. At least they're all at the funeral. I, I'm pretty sure I saw Stefan, but... But they, they should have at least all gotten a line. Like, it, it's not... It, it's not as if this is a, uh... Like a TV show where you're not guaranteed to get everyone back for the final episode. Like, they could have just had them all record a line or two and then just stuck that at the end. So that at least it's like all of your... All of the characters are... Get some kind of send-off. It would have helped considerably to have... Yeah, I agree. It would have helped a lot to have the previous partner sad. Uh, I also think it would have helped if all of the previous partners were involved, or at least some of them, were involved at the end when 
Like, I mean, hopefully Kelso's not the one that's, like, leading the charge, but if Cole is calling in favors from his army buddies like he's done before and his, his partners that are willing to sort of bend the rules a little bit, and then so you actually get to see these characters near the end, and then they get to see him die, so they have an emotional reaction to it. And then, and then we get, like, a send-off of, like, poor Rusty and Stefan are sad. It makes me sad. I'm so bad. Hold on. Let, let me let me look up. L.A. Noir Peterson. Leonard Peterson. His first name's Leonard. Who knew? Um. So he approaches Kelso in the hospital. Yep. Yeah, you're right. Literally, it just he's in that cutscene, and then he's in the end. And especially when. I don't know. I think he must have. He must say his name like once, probably in that cutscene. Um, but all of the characters are in very similar color schemes, which I, I get if they're going for like realism. Um, but like you, you can still give them something different that makes them aesthetically different from each other. Uh, especially if they're all going to be white dudes, which again I, I get for the for the the setting and the and the prestige that they're in, like. There or the types of jobs that they're in are going to be very exclusive, probably against women and people of color. So sure, whatever. All the people in power are white dudes, and that's the characters that we see. But then you got to differentiate them somehow. You can't just show us a, a 90th white dude um, in a blue suit because they're all in blue suits, and then just expect us to say see at the end that dude again and know who he is. Um. Uh... What even happened to Peterson? I thought he was supposed to be hope and glory. I feel like they might be trying to do the thing of like, oh no, you can't escape corruption in the past. Uh, I forgot which one was Kelso. Yeah, I also forgot which one was Kelso. The, Cole is the only, Cole and Stefan are the only ones, and Roy actually, that I like consistently would recognize. Because we just see them more often, and we so we know who they are. I thought Kelso was Stefan. Don't you insult Stefan like that. How dare you? Yeah, I don't know. Because I, I feel like the Peterson thing, from what I remember of the hospital visit, I think the Peterson thing is supposed to be um, like a empowering moment. Um, but then again... Because then Roy giving Roy doing the funeral at the end implies that like structurally there's still corruption there, which which is fine. I think that that's a fine beat to end on, especially since I think I do think it's good that Elsa's there and she walks out because Roy is is giving the the, the speech. I think that works because um, then it's like oh yeah fuck Roy he's always pretending like he, he's pretending like he's on our side but really he was a, he was an obstacle the entire way. I like that, but then. Then we got to do something more with Peter. Or actually, no, we don't need to do anything more with Peterson. Just, just, just get rid of Peterson. He, he doesn't, he doesn't do anything. Just keep it to Kelso and Cole, uh, and then have Kelso be more important earlier, just a little earlier, and then, yeah, no, no Peterson, no Peterson, no Peterson's not needed. Yeah, I, I, I'm not a fan of. Uh, uh, and and I, this isn't an L.A. noir thing. This is a, a general storytelling thing. I don't like when they do this in movies either, uh, for the most part. Um, I don't like when there's like a... Right right at the end of the movie, there's a flashback that suddenly um, you get information that you probably should have known ahead of time. Like, I think sometimes it's done well, and when it's done well, it works. But I feel like it's hard to do it well, and a lot of the times it just feels cheap uh, and unearned, like... Oh wow, this surprise that bet you didn't see that coming. It's like, yeah, we didn't because there's no signs that that has happened. <laughs> like there's this isn't like a wow, this recontextualizes my assumptions. It's just like, oh, okay. This major event happened that all the characters knew about and that would have made things make more sense and be more meaningful if I saw it before. But, but I guess not. Is there anything after the credits? I don't know. Are we almost done with the credits? I'm assuming we're almost done if we're on the music. I do really like all of the music in this game, though. I think it's it's all done really well, and I enjoy it. OK. 
can we can we push this can we can we push this along? I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything before I call it. Honestly, I feel like I would I I feel like I would like it more still also if they they could have gone two ways with this. They either could have made the 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 underlying Cole Phelps story more cohesive and better and and more thematically relevant and emotionally relevant. That would be fine. I'd also be fine if they made it purely episodic. Like just there's no real backstory going on, like no no war stories. It's you're just a cop doing a bunch of unrelated cases, uh, and, and like you can have progression in the sense that you know you get promoted. There are characters that stick around, but there's no like underlying story. I like that. I like games that have an underlying story, but I feel like it, it would have. I I would have been perfectly fine for them to not have it. And then, and honestly, I think that would make the pacing better too, because I wouldn't be sitting around being like, how much longer is this game? Where is this plot going? I'm not invested in any of these characters. It'd be purely just like, a, oh, I'm going to play another episode of this game. And I'm ex I can focus solely on this case, each case by case. Uh, it would have been nice if it would have just been a cop trying to fight corruption. Yeah, yeah, I... I yeah. Ah, I don't know. It's strange. Okay, I think I don't think that there's anything after this. Uh, and then the cop trying to fight corruption ends with nothing happening um, and nothing changing. I think that would have been more impactful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I like that. I like that idea of like um, the cop trying to fight corruption. And maybe if you if you really need to have like a, a sort of nice, uh, happy-ish ending, he could he could solve some issue. Like some smaller, uh, some smaller issue that that you've kind of been working towards, but then you you realize at the end that there's still this larger structural corruption that it, it didn't solve everything, uh, and and you can see and like you can sort of see that they were trying to get at that with some of the stuff that they're doing. I think that totally works for me. I, I'd be totally fine with that. Um, I don't know what I don't know what this was. Also, I can't I can't skip these credits. There was no need for Kelso. Yeah, there was no need for Kelso. I'm going to have to invent a need for Kelso. I'm going to draw Peterson Kelso fan art, slash fiction fan art, and then people are going to look at it and be like, ah, yes, Kelso, and who's this other guy? Is this an OC? And I'm going to be like, no, this is Leonard Peterson, the most important character in L.A. Noir who wraps up the finale for us. Uh, yeah, I also agree. No need for Elsa. Um, it 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 kind of just felt like Elsa was was just there because it's trying to be noir genre, and and you you kind of needed like a sort of femme fatale kind of character. But then Elsa doesn't even really fit a femme fatale character archetype either. She's just kind of there, and she doesn't get to do very much. Um, and I, and I think it's, it's an interesting way to explore Cole's, uh, tenderness, but also his character flaws. Like he's cheating on his wife and he has kids with her, but, but then again, we don't know his wife and we don't know his kids. So it doesn't matter. We don't care about them outside of just a general abstract, like don't cheat on your partners. <laughs> Okay, I think this is the end of the credits. How many copyrights are there going to be? How, how long is this disclaimer? Oh my god, is this special thanks going to be like nine years long? Thank our wives, husbands, girlfriends, boyfriends, and partners who have shared the journey. That's kind of sweet. Oh yeah, yeah, so um, the UCLA Geography Air Photos Archive. 
I talk about it in my, I'm going to talk about it in my class when we, when we cover uh, LA Noir and uh, digitizing cities. Oh, they just, they just cut off that song. They didn't time it to make sure it ended. How about this for a headline? Guess which former Sixth Marine hero has been promoted in the LAPD? No idea. Well, it could be anybody. You give up? Tell us or hand over the fucking paper. The Shadow Boys, our very own Silver Star winning son of a bitch. Phelps, you didn't die, Jack. He did just fine, and that's all we're going to say about it, right? The one and only. Look at this picture. Golden boy getting his badge. Wife and kids in tow and looking awful humble in the process. Who's his well, wife and kids? That's phony, bastard. I wonder if they've been holding my job for me after all this time. What job was that? Mechanic. Ain't you seen all the war bond movies, Sarge? All the best mechanics is women. You're going to have to work as a gigolo from here on in. <laughs> I was a bus driver in Santa Cruz. No, no pictures in the papers or medals for me, though. I can't believe I just went through Petalu and Okinawa just to go back to being a washing machine mechanic. How is it that jerks like Phelps get it all? It doesn't have to be that way, guys. What are you talking about? It's always going to be that way. Do you have any idea what you guys are sitting on? Yeah, a ship full of army surplus. You're sitting on surplus morphine. Two tons of it. Can you imagine what that's worth on the streets? Hundreds of thousands of dollars. You're shitting me. I'm not. You're talking about stealing it? Keep your voice down. Do you want to have us all thrown in the Keep brink? your voice God down as I stream children. about you it. You want to go into the dope business? No. I want to be in the peace dividend business. What is that supposed to mean? It means I want the guys who fought for a better future to get some share of it. You interested, Jack? Come on, Top. We could all get out from under. Oh, it's the chance of our lives. It's everyone or no one, boys. I'm not having a bar of it, Courtney. You may be the bravest person I have ever met, but I swear to God, trouble follows you around like a pet fucking dog. I thought you wanted to try for medical school. So what do you want, Jack? What's the future got in store for you? You guys were all heroes in the war. Every single one of you. Even if your next door neighbor or your wife never know it and don't give a rat's ass. Fuck belts and medals and citations and parades. Fuck the public who are bored with returning GIs. I have nothing but respect for what you guys and the rest of the six have done. You go through with this, and you'll be nothing to me. Why was that the last thing? Why was that the post credit stinger? What were the decisions that were made in this game? It's like they had a whole bunch of content that they wanted and they just put it in a blender. Then just whatever came out in, in whatever order possible was like, eh, that's good enough, it's fine. Is that really the last impression that they, they wanted us to have? Yeah, I guess that's it. Okay, so I actually, um, uh, I, I actually do like the the framing of Phelps as kind of prestige hungry because we've seen that a few times where he uh, he gets kind of made fun of for wanting to get promotion so fast and wanting to take credit for things. I like that. I like that as a character flaw, and I like Kelso as a foil to that. So I actually don't mind this scene, the, like, the way they position Kelso as, as kind of like a... Like, the reason he doesn't like Phelps is that Phelps is fame-hungry, and Phelps wants accolades, and Kelso doesn't need accolades. I think that's, that's kind of a cool concept to explore. They just don't do it. Ever. So, that's it. <laughs> they, they just have the groundwork for a, a character foil. Um, but, but that's not really it. Yeah, because pretty much all we know of, all we see of their, their background before is just that they don't like each other. And it just seems kind of seems like a personality thing, or that Cole's kind of an asshole, but that's, that's really it. We don't see it, or I didn't see it at least, when I was playing through these scenes, as like an ideological difference. I just saw it as like, Cole's kind of a jerk. <laughs> Um, and doesn't get along with Kelso. Anyway, yeah, that, that was a questionable way to end it. But, um, I think that's it. I think that, I think that, that wraps up L.A. Noir. Uh, final thoughts. Um, I still really like a lot of the game. Uh, the story is an utter mess. 
uh, and doesn't make any sense and isn't good and isn't well paced. Um, but I enjoy just like driving around and screwing things up um, and interacting with the world. That's fun. Um, and I, and I like I like the atmosphere. Uh, I like the interrogations, even though I'm terrible at it, and I don't pay enough attention to what the actual case is when I'm streaming, because I, I, I physically cannot <laughs> well, do that while talking. Um, but, but I don't know. I feel like if I were to rank it, like 8 out of 10, lots of good things, incoherent story, incoherent theming, um, but unfortunately I feel like that's also fairly common with video games. So it's not too far out of the ordinary. At least it's it's sort of trying something. Um, but yeah, yeah, pretty high rating. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to be generous. Uh, at, at least in terms of like the interrogation stuff and the face stuff is is stuff that's new uh, or that was new in the industry. So that's kind of cool. But. Um, yeah, probably don't need a third playthrough. Anyway, thanks for watching my L.A. Noir stream. Uh, and then now I can play Miss Man at some point. Bye.